Hello. Hello. Colin just like called. It? Colin just calls his watch a bitch because he didn't understand. Well, because uh, you you have to be like, hello, Siri. And then she's like, why are you yelling at her? First of all, it's a he on my phone. I didn't know that. Or they, them. Oh, they, them. And, um, oh, speaking of, oh my God. Oh God. I told you about that story at Sephora, right? About the, the person that was helping me. Did you call him a girl and they're a boy or something? Yeah, I'll have to tell that story. Anyway, you have to yell at Siri. To, because they don't understand you. Right. They don't understand you. Use the right pronoun. Anyway, talking about you pronouns, are getting right into it. so good about being... No, I'm not. Oh. So I was at Sephora no, a couple of weeks not. ago. And I was looking for like a new... I don't know, some sort of face up. And what? My tea's hot. ASMR. Yeah, she told me... Tavia told me to hold it and like... It's she 190 was holding, degrees. She was holding the handle and she wanted me to grab the cup by the sides where it's hot... Well, you know, we're all over the place. We really got to rein this in. Rein it in. We're at Sephora. They, them. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, so we're at Sephora. I was looking for something, and somebody helped me. Very nice person. Helped me out. So then I go to the cash wrap, and I'm checking out. And What's a cash wrap? The, where they check you out. The cash register. What, why is it a cash wrap? I don't know. Okay. That's just the term, I think. I don't think so. Go ahead. Well, what do you think it's called? The cash register? The checkout way? One lash. It's wonky. No. It's oh god, is it attached? Oh! <laughs> was it attached? It was. Okay. It was, it was attached. attached, but it was swooping. That was probably twenty five dollars, right there. Easily, I'm gonna tell Sarah. Anyway, so I went to the cash register to check out, and they go. The person at the cash register said, "Was there anybody that helped me?" And the person that was helping me was standing right next to the cash register, and mm -hmm. I said, "He helped me." Now. Mind you, everybody at Sephora wears makeup, right? Everybody. Like, I go to Sephora. I love makeup tutorials. Totally into it. Do you think? Love it. I wear a little concealer, like, right. for my blemishes. Right. Like, fine with it. And, like, is that you? Just ignore it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Just ignore it. And so, I, like, it's, like, I get it, but, so, this person had long hair and makeup on, but it was, looked like a male. Okay. And so, I said, he helped me mm -hmm. and the person in the cash register immediately said she and I felt so bad and and the person they um I was like I'm so sorry and they were like no no it's fine you know but I felt really terrible because so how nice of the cash register lady to be like she did, right don't that would be something, don't mess it up that would be that would be somebody seeing you said lady but it was a boy the cash register so moral oh, of the really? story the moral of the story is um, they them. They them is the safest bet. They them. Them there over there. Them they helped me because there's there's a, a transgender person at the gym that okay that Spencer and Janelle and I go to, and we she, were talking he, about he she. Well, see, I don't know because oh. I think it's a male transitioning to female, but the okay. female wants to look like a male bodybuilder. So we were talking about it, and I That's had to keep correcting. Janelle to say they them. Yeah. They, they were them. over there doing this. That's mm -hmm. just the safest bet. Safest bet. Because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings that's mm -hmm. going, you know, changing their identity. And that's like asking somebody if they're pregnant, a woman. I know. When they're not pregnant. I know. And you're like. Or even asking, I think we've talked about this before, even asking women, when are you getting pregnant? Right. Because they a lot not... of people have internal struggles yep. that they can't get pregnant. Right. And then asking them is just. Rude. It's just awful. Yeah. It's mean, yeah. They them it. They them it out. So anyway, so there was my long rant that we just started. Oh, I haven't seen your nails. Oh, yeah. I went with like a midnighty purplish yes. something or other. It's very dark and sexy. Yeah, I was moody for New Why don't we do matte? Oh, because the lady was like, we do matte. <laughs> <laughs> we do matte all the time. You need to do shiny. <laughs> yep. Just hitting it on the head. We went there. Wait, you were going to tell me something when you first walked in. Okay, so um, I was driving through Tavia's neighborhood to get here, Let's get and out. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and did you have you seen your neighbor's enclosed like patio sunroom thing? Oh, right at the very turn in. It looks so cool. It's been there since I've lived here. I've literally just Never seen, seen it seen now. It? Yeah, it's got like paned glass. It's it's not like a traditional sunroom. It's got mm -hmm. like 
tinted UV pane mm -hmm. glass and it's huge. It's really pretty. It looks so nice. Speaking of driving in, the street right behind me, the corner house, uh -huh. I believe it's a rental, um, but they have, so at night, Luke and I have been driving in and then they, they're- Good job. Yeah, they. My eyes switching. Because them. Yeah. Anyways, their upper bedroom, there is a green background, a light ring, everything. I'm like, <gasps> are they podcasting up there? Maybe. We don't or have a green, doing, we don't have a green background. Or they're doing an OnlyFans. You know what OnlyFans is? I don't quite understand that. So it's basically, I mean, you can do whatever you want on it. Some people do like workout stuff, but it's mainly for people to film themselves like masturbating or having sex with people. And people make a lot of money off of it. Like some of these people are making $30,000 a month off of this. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. I thought like OnlyFans was just like you just had people that wanted to follow you taking sexy pictures. Well, videos of, and sexy pictures and videos of. Do you belong to any OnlyFans sites? Uh, am I, do I subscribe to any? Oh, you have to pay to be on them? You have to, well, that's how they get their money. Mm. I don't subscribe oh! to any. Bumped us. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't subscribe to any, and no, I do not have my only own OnlyFans, but I've thought about it. Wait, because no. I would love to make 30 grand a month. No, Colin, absolutely not. I mean... No, we're not why, doing Why? Why did you look at my hair? What's wrong with I my was hair? actually just admiring your swoop today, and I'm loving the gray. Oh, I need to get a haircut this weekend, I think. The gray, though, is coming in great. Yeah, I suppose. It's so cute. How does Jacob feel about your gray? <laughs> um... He doesn't say anything. Why did you laugh like a weirdo? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's hot today. I I'm like sweating in this body. Oh, suit. I was just thinking we should have oh, turned on the fire. Luke turned it off. He got so nervous. He kept saying he felt like he smelled gas. So, <laughs> Wait, I the just the lights not on. I just waited over a month for the fire place company to come service and clean our fireplace turn it on get it all nice and pretty spent like two hundred dollars on this and we got to use it for all of a week for christmas and luke's like don't you just smell gas and i was like i i don't smell natural so the, gas so the pilot light was off before this yes so now the pilot light was on he's like i, I just i'm getting a whiff of, i'm just turning this off i'm like oh, okay so i should have just left the moths in there because it doesn't turn on anymore because luke done turned it off okay luke galvin is do you think that his OCD is getting worse as he gets older? I think it is. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Olivia told him that he, she went on this, like, impromptu field trip. <laughs> oh, yeah. This was crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. I don't know. Like, I don't know how I not... I don't know how to feel. Right. Well, like, tell I'm not, me what okay. happened. So my child goes to private Catholic school. We're not Catholic. Don't worry about it. Because she needed structure. We needed in-person <laughs> learning. Anyways, she gets in the car and goes, I went on a field trip today. And I was like, oh, that's weird. I didn't sign any permission. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you go? She goes, we went to Sister Mary Lou's house. I was like, so you also went to Somebody's house. someone's home. Yeah. Okay. And it was the nun. So I guess like you try not to worry too much until you hear those crazy stories. Right. right. About the priests and all right, that. Right, 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 right. So I'm like, okay. And she goes, well, we just were in the backyard. I'm like, did you crawl through the fence? How did we get there? Mind you, the nun's house is directly next to the school and church. So when it takes her me, like a click to get there. You were there. telling me yesterday that, that you think that the school owns the house. I think the school it, does own it. And that's where the nuns live. Because how could they possibly have gotten so lucky? Right. That the nuns live in that house. Right, yeah. So I guess there's three nuns that live there. <laughs> Um, and they went into the backyard and had some sort of like reenactment of Mary and Joseph and then hit a pinata. I don't know. What was this for again? I, I'm not sure. They were learning. Well, <laughs> did Olivia not tell you what she was learning? They, they, she just was saying, <laughs> she said like, we knocked on a door and they said we couldn't come in because Mary was having her baby. And like, I think they were reenacting like Mary and Joseph and Mary having a baby. Isn't that Jesus? I don't know. Huh. Your hair looks really cute today, Thank by the way. Thank you. I did a mask this morning. I blued it out for you, blowed it, it blew cute. it. It looks cute. Like it's got like a little layer and like. It's getting thicker. Can yeah. You, do you feel it? Yeah. When are you starting your prenatal? I don't know. I'm not pregnant, but those are the winning ticket. Oh, wait. Back to Luke. Back to Luke. So Livy tells daddy, I went on a field trip today and he goes, Where? Did we sign something? And I said, Nope. And she goes, I went to sister. 
I won't say her name. Sister, <laughs> <laughs> Sister so and so's house. And I Luke's think you like, already said it, but that's why. I don't know if I did. I went to Sister so and so's house, and Luke was like, To a house? You went to someone's house? What did we do at this house? Who was with you? How many people? <laughs> oh. Luke was like, I'm going to get in the car and go get Savannah. I don't know how to feel about any of this. And yeah. I was like, Bye. Poor Luke, he just can't handle it. I think that I feel so sweaty. I think that do. Do I look just glistening? No, oh. not at all. Okay. No, you look great. That's hot. Might be the tea. I think it's the hot, hot tea that tea. you're, and you're maybe nervous. I don't know. Are you nervous? Oh. That I'm wearing a bodysuit and my rolls are out. How do you feel about them? Just look at them. You Judge don't me. have rolls. Well, I kind of do. Look at this guy. Wait, there it is. Wait, hold on. How do you have to bend? There it is. Do you see it? I have rolls. I have this. Oh, anyways, I asked you how Jacob feels about your hair. Right. And? Yeah, um, I don't think that he... Likes it? That he's never said anything about my gray hair. Oh, well, that's nice. It's interesting dating in a younger, younger man. I know, you used to be the young man. I used to be the younger man, so... Now you're the daddy. My, I don't know if I'm the daddy. Oh. I, probably, I don't know. Okay. But, um, so yes, yeah, so my ex-boyfriend was 20 years older than me. I'm 10 years older than Jacob. Right. Mind so you, the ex-boyfriend would be like mid-50s by now. He's going to be 50, 54, this, 53 this year. Holy cow. I know. I wonder how he's aging. I don't know. Probably not well with all the things I've learned. Well, Spencer, yeah, Spencer <laughs> saw him a couple of years ago and he said, I think he was just trying to be a good friend and say that he's not aging well, but. Oh. Anyway. Um, how are you and Jacob? So we're good. We're really good. He's so sweet. Um, I don't know. This is just the point. You told me the other day, are you self-sabotaging? And yeah. I don't think that I'm self-sabotaging, but I just don't know how, how, if I'm supposed to be in a relationship, because I feel like I'm so independent and I feel like people in relationships need to be needed. And I think that hurts people's feelings when I'm not like, Needing them up their butt all the time. Does he need to? You be know needed? what I mean? No, and he's not even that bad about it. But mm -hmm. I just feel like maybe I'm not being the best boyfriend. Not even that we're like. Are we boyfriends? I don't think we're not boyfriends yet. But how long does I'm it take to be a that, boyfriend? I don't know. If you had it, we'd be boyfriends. We would have been boyfriends after our first conversation. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know that I'm a pretty independent person, mm -hmm. and it, it's. I always feel like I'm not giving somebody what they need. You're self-sabotaging. By, by, you, am I? I feel like you are because Jacob also made a comment that he wants kids. Right. And you don't. Yeah. What does that have to do with... Well, you're just going to like keep not giving him... Like, I feel like you're going to start building walls so that you don't have to get too far into it and get sad and break, Maybe. break your heart. Maybe that's it. Because what if he really likes you and does, you like yeah, go like into him. this for years and then it's like time to talk about a baby and you're like, I just spent the last five years with you and I'm not into having babies. Right. But, but maybe we would change our mind. Well, I mean, you never know the future because you try to plan stuff and then, you know, things happen. And then God strikes us dead. Right. Well, no, but oh. a pandemic, a little pandemic happens. But <laughs> yeah, if you had you a never... baby in the pandemic, you would have... 100% company all the time. Yeah. <laughs> company? What do you mean? Like they would have just been like there to love on you. That would have been too much. I, <laughs> I actually liked being alone. <laughs> That's what I realized in this pandemic. That I don't... I think you can still be in a relationship and be very independent. Yeah. I don't think like every married couple or gay couple or straight couple... Well, it's okay, like, so how about you and Luke? So you, you oh, need I'm a lot of needy. attention. I'm just needy, yeah. But Luke isn't. Not always, no. Or is he? Just behind closed doors, he's very needy. No. He's not super needy. At all. So you guys balance each other out. Yeah, because I'm like, Mer, I love me, hold my toes. Right, right, yeah. And he's like, get your feet off me. And right, like, yeah. Oh. And I'm like, can I cuddle you? Will you cuddle me? Just cuddle me, just hold me. But you know what's interesting is Luke and I have been together for 18 years. Which is Before wild. that, I don't think I was ever so, but now that we've been together for so long, I'm like, if he wasn't here, I would feel like I would not be excited about like freedom. Right. I talk about being like, 
oh, I'm gonna go somewhere in Vegas with the girls and be free. But no, like, really? Reality? No. Sounds you awful. Need, you need somebody around at all times. Yeah, I need a snuggler. Yeah. Or somebody to answer my calls. Well, and Luke's kind of the same way, too, because... Didn't, wasn't, didn't he take the day off and he was huge? Oh, he was, he was like, so... Oh, Lord, come home. Yeah, and he was Play watching... With me. He was watching bowling. <sighs> <laughs> That's how bad it got when Luke's just sitting on the couch. He's like, so what are your plans today? Because I'm just <laughs> watching bowling. I was like, I actually have a busy day. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> Sorry. have fun doing whatever. Bye. Take this time to relax. And he's like, I'm lonely. Yeah. So we're like a good match. Like, we need each other. Right, yeah. And then sometimes we get our free space. Yeah. So I don't know what made me think about it this morning when I was getting dressed. Something like triggered it to mm-hmm. think like think that. Okay. Um, so anyway, so that was just kind of my thought process. When but you, it's going well. I like him. He likes me. When you hang out sweet. again tonight. Tonight. Yes. Do we feel like these pants are a little baggy? Oh, they're very baggy. Is that the look? No, I got them too big. But these are the only like jogger joggery pants that I have, so I wear them. Okay. But they're very baggy. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. normally you'd be like. This is too baggy. Well, the thing is, I'm over the skin tight thing because my thighs are getting so big oh. and a lot of Oh, welcome. Like, welcome. Welcome. Do you blow out your crotch? Yes. Now you know what but it the feels thing, like. The thing with girls' pants are, I see you have stretch. Yeah. A lot of my pants, my jeans, do not have any stretch and they're like suffocating my thighs. So maybe you just need to get a little bit more stretchier jean. Maybe. Maybe you need to get a girl's jean. Well, I have. Hey, them. Don't no. block. Don't. Oh, you're right. You're right. Don't knock it till you try it. Well, I. I I have not knocked it because remember I got girls short shorts, shorts for, for pride. From me. Those are cute. Not from you. Well, I not they weren't mine. <laughs> I was shopping and I was like, look at these cute little pride shorts in the girls' juniors department. Not even the woman. They were a great hit. Everybody loved them. Yeah, I think they're fabulous. But anyway, so yeah, that I just I go for a little bit baggier feel. Okay, very Scott Disick. And also I looked at his clothes. They're very expensive because I would. I'm into the lot, like sweatsuits and lounge oh, streetwear. Oh my god, are you going? They're like literally two hundred dollars for a pair of sweats. No, are you going down that like deep Kardashian hole where they're just gonna start putting sweatpants on with heels? Yeah, I thought about doing that. I thought about doing like a sweatpant with a dress shoe and just kind of seeing how that worked out for me. I don't think it's. <laughs> I don't think it's working. You don't know. It could be very fashion. You forward. don't know. You don't know. It could be very fashion forward. Uh, okay. I don't think so. I don't know. We're gonna you want to know something funny Savannah said today after what? we hung up the phone with you? What? When I was oh, like, we'll tell them what happened. Oh, yeah. Morning. Sav called Colin this morning to tell him about her good luck, which was she got a free birthday donut. When she this ordered donut, cute. yeah, she ordered donuts to take to school for her birthday because she never gets to celebrate her birthday at school because it's right after Christmas. So we ordered donuts from our special donut lady. And when we were leaving, she gave Savannah her own birthday donut and she was like pumped she's already had three breakfasts but why not just throw a half a donut on that too and so she had to call colin to be like guess what i got a free donut anyways when we hung up with you and i was like okay see you later love you and then she's in the background she goes and i want to marry you (laughs) and i go wait you want to marry colin she goes no you want to marry colin because you tell him you love him i was like oh i go i can't marry colin colin likes boys she was like oh yeah he's gay like so (laughs) nonchalant she's like oh yeah he's gay and i was like Right. Yeah, he likes boys. And she's like, how does his mom feel about him being gay? And I was like, she doesn't care. Wait, Savannah said that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. She doesn't care. She loves him. And she goes, huh, okay. I was like, okay. Anything else? She's like, nope. I was like, all right, moving on. But it was really funny when she's like, oh, yeah. Oh. He's gay. I thought that was cute. Yeah. I was like, oh man, you want to marry Colin? It's never going to happen. I just love that you have those conversations with the girls. I mean, just about anything in life. You're just very, you talk to them like they're adults. You don't baby them. No, but then this is the way it is. Yeah, but then they talk to me like they're an adult. I I mean, that's the trade off, right? Right. But yeah, we're going to teach them not to be assholes. Is that allowed? I don't think so, but it's fine. Yeah. Talk to your kids about respect. Being gay is okay. Liking the same sex is fine. Yeah. I guess if you want to like both sexes, that's right. That's you can just best of both worlds. Do whatever, dibble dabble, whatever side you want. Dibble dabble on a not fan. I honestly only think site. that. Yeah, I, I honestly think that their generation. What generation are they called again? Oh, Zen know. or oh, Z or no Gen Z. No, I don't know. Anyways. but anyway, I think that that generation is going to be way more fluid. Oh, way more fluid. Like the girls could possibly bring home a boy or girl whatever like yeah dibble down and i feel like the parents 
because that would be us. We would be the mil we're considered millennials, by the way. Uh, yeah, I think so. But is awful, right? I don't. <laughs> I know. I don't like to associate. I'm sorry. If you're a millennial out there, I just, I've had a job since I was 14. I definitely don't feel like anything should be handed to me. And the stereotype with a millennial is that they're like a participation award. But we can't generalize everybody. We can't though. generalize everybody. So just ignore that. But I think millennials in a general sense are so much more open. I think so. But I think that as it progresses, yeah. I think that people are just going to keep becoming more open because your friend... Down the, that lives down the street. Remember, they have that little boy, and mm -hmm. he had the the yeah, it was on. Yep. and it was just like Didn't nothing. Care. Yeah, it was no. just like, like it is what it is. And like, he's like he the biggest like boy, like right, in quotes, right. like yeah. football jerseys, like yeah. tackle football, like. But yeah, like he wanted to rock like well, crazy even, nails. Even on TV, there's some like straight guys. We're doing guys air are, quotes. Guys are straight on TV them. that have like a, a painted fingernail or a hand of painted fingernails. Yeah. And like, I just think that it's, as things progress more, it's just people, people want to put people in boxes. Stop boxing your boxes. And I think that it's just whatever you want. Yeah. You know, what's funny is like back in college, Cameron, you've seen Cameron. Yes. He, Very attractive. Fireman. <clears throat> um, his younger sister, mm -hmm. she's like. 15 years younger. Okay. So, wow. yeah, he was in high school when she was born. Yeah. So when he was in college, she was still a little girl. And he came home for, like, break or something, and she had painted his toenails. Mm hmm I totally forgot about it. Went back to college, went to soccer practice. He was on the soccer team, on yeah. the college soccer team. Took off his boots, took off his, you know, socks, and everybody's like, dude, why are your toenails purple? And he's like, oh. My sister painted those. Yeah. Did not care. Yeah, yeah. Like what anybody yeah. said. Yeah. I don't think he would. But now he has two little girls, so God only knows what his toenails look like. Do they do the uh, Savannah and Olivia paint Luke's toenails? They've like painted fingernails. his fingernails. Yeah. But Mr. OCD's like, it's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so if they did a, like a nice manicure job, he might keep it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I did take Lucas to get his first pedicure over Christmas break. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is shocking to me. I feel like that's something that he would enjoy. Yeah. He I, secretly is going to go every week now and should. get a pedicure. Yeah. They were like, took that cheese grater to his foot like it was a block of cheese. I really? Like, just shave those crusty toes. It, does he have like crusty feet? No. Now that he's not like playing ice hockey as much or his feet are fine, but like. Do you put his toes in your mouth? Well, Maybe now you do. Ew, after you get no, a pedicure. No. He puts your toes in his mouth. I've no, seen he it doesn't. No, he does not. I feel like I've seen it on FaceTime. No, that's just me like shoving my foot in his face and then. Oh, I thought that was sexy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think you're blushing a little bit. Well, yeah, because <laughs> they're hot. Because <laughs> you're thinking about Luke sucking your toes. I don't think I would like it. Yeah. It seems like an uncomfortably slobbery feeling. So Jeff was in defeat. My ex. Jeff was into weird things. Weird things. And so he would like always put my feet in his face. And I just, I don't know, it just made me feel self-conscious. And I'm usually pretty open to think what people, you know, things yeah, that people Yeah, Colin is like, there's no boxes for Colin. So if you're no. like, let's try this. He's like, when, where, how long? And I'm like, ooh, let me research. I don't think so. Yeah, no, like. So did you tuck his you, toes? Do you, no, no, no. He likes feet. He likes my feet. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you let him lick your toes? I mean, it, I didn't love it, but yeah, I let him. Icky. Yeah. I told Luke about the contact solution bottle. Contact solution. Oh, Luke yeah. Luke was just like, geez, Louise. We well, can't said, bring that up and not tell them, and I don't know if this is an appropriate Yeah, we can't. Well, sometimes there's secrets, so subscribe to get more. I don't want to tell you. There's uh, Fans only. <laughs> should, we, should we start an OnlyFans? Oh, is it OnlyFans or fans only? I think there's two. How do you even one. find those sites? The, well, that's a site. It's all the site, and then you can search it. I don't really know. Oh, there's like a, it's not like an Instagram? Uh, For some reason, I felt like I've heard this, but I thought it was just like on Instagram, and like you had to, they would have to accept you to follow them. No, it's like a subscription, a monthly subscription-based thing. It's a website, and everybody has their own like sub-website that you subscribe to, and then they post... These we'll videos. look it up on your phone. I don't want to have traces of that on my phone. <laughs> what did you look up the other day on your phone? And you're like, delete that right now because I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. 
Was it bad? That was the funniest thing. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't what remember it was. what it was either. It's probably something inappropriate. Yeah. Oh no, you were showing me a picture, a meme, or something. Of what? I don't know. And then you like you showed me, and then you're like, okay, we're just gonna delete that history. Which I thought was weird. Oh, yeah. What was it? Because I didn't want it up on my screen every time I popped up. Maybe. Yeah. What was it? I'll have know. to remember. It's to be continued. <gasps> TBD. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have to say our goodbyes. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. That's what I labeled our last one, Happy New Year. Oh. But it was before Christmas. So it was Happy One Year? We're kind of on track now because we... We doubled up. We doubled... Well, no. We did every week, but then I... I just posted them. Do you think we're going to be successful this, this year? I think so. Where were you doing better than we did last year? No, we weren't on it every Wednesday. I mean, as far as like people listening. Oh, yeah. You guys are doing great. You guys make us famous. So, on that note, subscribe. Click download. Click the link. Do whatever you need to do to yeah. keep hearing us every week. We upload it every Tuesday at 6 a.m. You know you have a long drive to work, and we're here to help. Exactly. Yeah, start your Tuesday off right. Start your Tuesday off right. So, thank you so much for joining us. And That's how the cookie crumbles. We will check you on the next one. <laughs>